Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. And what I want to talk to you about today is how can you find the next Apple, Amazon, or Tesla? How do you find that in its infant stage? Well, you look back as to what created Apple, Amazon, and Tesla. It was change. It was a change. First change was called the internet. The second change was called e-commerce. And the third change was electric vehicles. If you recognize that change as it was coming, rather than after it already materialized, if you recognized it as it was coming, you could find the stock that was going to facilitate, the company that was going to facilitate that change. I'm of the belief that we are, as a result of the coronavirus and some other changes that are occurring, we are at the infantile stage of the change in the way we deliver health care. And that change is going to create the next Apple, Amazon, and Tesla if you get in on it and recognize it. Now, it's a big task to find all this. How do you do it? You incorporate the power of a tribe. That is, you gather together, not just one or two people, but a collection of hundreds of thousands of people who are all looking for the same needle in the haystack. And one of them will probably raise their hand and say, have you considered this? And then the tribe will analyze it and say, hey, I think I know where it's coming. Why would someone like be able to recognize it when everyone else is? Well, maybe they've done some reading or maybe they've done some study and some research or maybe they're in the industry. So if you incorporate that group of people from all over the world in a tribe, you've got a better chance. And that's what Best of Us Investors is all about. We're not about Carrie Grinkmeyer. We're not about Carrie, who's a ex-financial advisor, built one of the largest financial planning firms in the United States, has his CFP, his CHFC, and his CLU. No, that's not what it's about. It's about a tribe. It's about a collection of people who have three simple objectives in mind. One, to make better investment decisions. Two, to learn how to keep more of what you make by understanding our tax code. And I talk about that on my other channel called The Best of Us in Retirement. And then third, how to create family wealth how to create, how to get to the point where we can pass on $24 million, that's what the federal government will allow Nita and I to do, onto our air so we can make a difference in their life. It's all about recognizing the change and finding the companies that are going to facilitate that change. That's what I'm going to talk to you about in this video. This video is going to talk to you about the change that's coming in the delivery of your health care, and how just in the last six months, the companies started to surface, and how just last week, they started to spike. And I'm going to share that with you right after this. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. As I said, this started last week, this spike. The actually, I told the tribe from, and why did I tell the tribe? Because I've read a lot of books about healthcare. I recognized back in, I guess, May of 2020, that we were in the midst of the biggest change in our in my lifetime and I'm 76 years old the only thing that ever came any close to it was world war ii but our world was brought to its knees through a virus and that virus was going to 
change the world from that day forward. I recognize that. And I started reading and I started studying because I know our healthcare system had to change. So let me give you some examples of this change. As I said, I started learning about it through finding out what genome sequencing is, is all about. It, it dates back to 2000, when to have your genome sequence, it cost a billion dollars. Today, it cost you a hundred dollars. Wow, that's change. So I bought a company by the name of Illumina, who does long read sequencing. And then I bought another company by the name of Pacific Biosciences. They do short read genome sequencing. It, each one of them last month, Last In the last 30 days, Illumina went from $368 to $475, up 29% in one month. Pacific Bioscience went from 22 to 33 up 50% in one month. Wow, that's, that's a good return on your investment. But you had to understand why it was going to happen. Then... The whole thing kind of shut down through the pandemic as the laboratories who were working on this genome sequencing and genome editing were put on hold, shut down the laboratories because they were quarantined. And then when they did come back, the government was throwing money at them to find the cure for a vaccine. They were sequencing and they were doing the testing in the in the um, petri dishes. And then just last week, a company by the name of Intella, N-T-L-A, which I've owned for quite some time because as I said, I knew about this back in November and December. They went up 100% in five days. They went from $87 to 164. Did I benefit from it? Yeah. Did the tribe benefit from it? Yeah because we had been talking about this in our Discord. I had been sharing on my live streams of about an hour every other week what was happening. I also then shared with them about a stock by the name of Editus. It was up 48% in the last seven days. And then CRISPR, it was up 22% in the last seven days. And Beam was up 48% in the last seven days. What are these stocks all about? Are they about genome sequence? No, they're about the, the delivery of the genome sequencing that's going to take the diseases and the sicknesses out of your body so that you never have cancer and you never have heart disease. Much as Nutella did a intravenous injection into, a, 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 into its patients and that, that genome sequencing went into their liver and changed the genome in their liver such that it did not uh, create the harmful acids that it was producing to cause liver failure and heart disease. And that's why the stock went up 100% last week. So did my tribe know about it? Yeah. We've been talking about it. I've been, I've been beating that drum. This is going to happen. So that's part of what's going to happen. Now, what, what's going to happen next? Well, the next element of this is that it's going to reach into our healthcare system and it's going to not only go beyond the genome sequencing and the therapy, but then it's going to be the delivery. What companies are going to deliver this to us? And then beyond that, who's going to collect the big data? No, no, not the big data, the, the deep data that basically says, look, uh, much as how my BMW works, I don't, they notify me when something's going to happen and be wrong with my car. I don't go into the shop. They tell me to come into the shop. That's the delivery. That's that's the deep data that there are uh, new companies that I have started telling my, my tribe about and my tribe has started telling me about who's the big, who's going to deliver that deep data? Who's going to then notify me on my phone that I, you got to get to the doctor because you got something going wrong with your prostate or you got something wrong going in your liver or your heart 
or, or cancer. Who's going to deliver that message to me? Well, that's what we're searching for and what we're finding as a collective, as a tribe. If you want to know more about the tribe, go into the description. This is the latest book that Colin George and I wrote about the power of the tribe. We explain in there how it works and how it happens. It's in the description. Just came out on uh, June the 15th. So read it and understand it and then come join us. Come become a member of the tribe. Why do you want to become a member of the tribe? Because the delivery of health care is just the first frontier. The next frontier is going to be bringing manufacturing back to the United States because we took it away from the United States. We pushed it away from the United States because our labor costs were too high and the labor was cheap in China and Vietnam and Africa and, 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 and Cambodia and, and all, all where, where people were underprivileged. But now through 3D printing and robotics, we can compete with them on labor because there is no labor. There, you can build factories that build products and you never turn the lights on. That's what's happening. But you need to know about it so that you can see the change recognize and identify who's going to facilitate that change and then invest in them. How do you do that? Do you do that by yourself? Do you do that by watching talking heads? I don't think so. I think you need to get a collective, a tribe, be a part of it, participate in it, take your bits of knowledge and share and let other people then enhance that knowledge and go from there. How does that happen? Well, we have an investment team. We have an investment team made up of Mark, Diago, Noodle, and Drew. They each, every week, take a stock or a, a category, a niche, and they analyze it and come back to the tribe through video and say, this is what we've discovered. This is what we think you should be consider. And then the tribe digs into it deeper and we come to a conclusion. So it isn't just me making investment decisions. It's the tribe. It's the knowledge base. Now, the other advantage that we have that maybe Goldman Sachs or Dean Witter or or some hedge fund ha doesn't have is we can get down to the nitty gritty stock that has making no money but we understand where they're going. You might have seen on my YouTube channel, I interview CEOs of company and I ask them questions. How do you make your money? Where is the money going to come from that's going to generate profits in the future that's going to make me wealthy? And that's what the tribe does. Okay, what do we then do? Let me give you an example. It, it, go and find my Saturday video, just this past Saturday. And it's titled, uh, David Meets Goliath. And it tells you the story. It's not the story, it's the facts. And, and Gabe brought this to attention, or, or my attention. Who's Gabe? Gabe is a member of the tribe. Um, he, he was in the military. Um, he retired from the military. And now he is working for, uh, as a stock analyst for one of the major banks. And he called me. And he said, Harry, I want you to look at this stock net list. You'll see the whole story on the Saturday video. That stock was up, uh, Gabe called me. It then went up 131% in six days. My tribe knew about it before Saturday. They knew about it the week before. They wrote it up the 131, or maybe they got in a little bit later and they only made 65% on the stock. That's what a tribe is about. Do you think when Goldman Sachs finds a stock that uh, they think is just going to skyrocket, do you think maybe they share it with their biggest customers before they announce it to the general public? Do you think that might happen? That's what a tribe is all about. If you want that advantage, you go to Best of Us Investors. You give me your name and your, and your email address, and I'll send you an invitation 
to join our tribe, to get ahead of the game, to become a beneficiary of the power of the tribe. First, go to the, go to the, the description and you'll find a link on Amazon to this book. Read the book, then make your decision. Do I want to become a part of a tribe or I just want to continue to try to do this by myself? It's just as it's yours. Are we going to charge you $5,000 a year to join the tribe like some people do? No, no. We expect something in return. We expect you to be a contributor to the tribe, not just live in your teepee and sleep and get up and benefit from it. No, we expect you to, to get out and do the work for the tribe. That's what Best of Us Investors is all about. If you want some tax information and some retirement information, go to my other YouTube channel. Uh, that's Best of Us in Retirement. And we'll put this whole package together for you. All right, I'll be talking to you again tomorrow. I've got some more very interesting information that you need to know. <music>